Neural Mix technology inside Algorithm DJ allows us to take full control of the stems within our playing tracks. But to get full control of this, we really want to be using it on a set of decks like this and not on the screen. So today on Crossfader, I'm going to show you how to MIDI map Neural Mix to your decks. Let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome back to Crossfader. My name's DJ Holland, and today we're taking a look at Algorithm DJ on iOS. Now, they recently updated this application with a technology called Neuromix. This technology takes whatever track you're playing, whether that be streamed or locally played, and breaks it into individual stems. You can then mute these stems, individual mix them, and come up with your own remixes and mashups on the fly. It's very powerful technology. However, to get the most of it, we don't really want to be faffing around on the screen using our fingers. We want to be using a set of decks. Before we get into MIDI mapping the pads, I just want to take a minute to remind you that we are giving away an iPad Air at the moment. To find out how to be in with a chance of winning it, make sure you stick around to the end of the video while I'll tell you how to get involved. Let's get into the MIDI mapping. So here in front of me, I have a Pioneer DDJ200. I've got that wired into this iPad, and that's just wired in via the USB cable on the back. I'm using this hub, so I've also got the audio splitter there as well. So the DDJ200 doesn't come with many pads. You know, you can't change through the different pad modes like you can with bigger and better controllers. So when I'm looking at these pads, they've already got a function on them. The bottom row, um, does the hot cues on the top row does auto loops. I really don't want to mess with that too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the pads when the shift button is held. So to do that, what you need to do is get your controller plugged in first of all, then load up algorithm. You'll see that when I move this crossfader, the crossfader is moving on the screen. That means it's connected properly. We're all ready to go. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to head to the settings. Press on the logo and you see this main menu pops up Then we want to press on the cogs. Now we're in the settings menu, we need to scroll down and find MIDI devices. When we're on the MIDI devices page, we can see all the controllers that the software has recognized. We can see the DDJ200 is there under MIDI devices, so we'll tap on that. And as you can see, I've got an edit here, but you won't have that. You'll just have the built in one. So it will show up just like this. Now, this menu here has absolutely every MIDI address that the controller is capable of sending to the software. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it first seems. There is a lot in here, but thankfully, Algorithm have done this amazing thing where if you press a button on the controller, it will jump to that button on the MIDI mapping menu. So if I press a keyboard, for example, it goes straight away. That's neat. Note CO, that's the cue button. So what we need to do is find the pads that we want to remap or want to map for the first time. So as I mentioned before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift and then the top left performance pad. There we go. It says this is mapped to bounce loop, 16th of a beat, but we don't want that. What I'm going to do is tap into the 16th beat. So we've got that here and you see we've got various options, but what we're concerned about changing is the action. So press the action and then it says target. So here we have all the options available within the software. I've pressed the top left hand pad on the right hand deck, deck number two. So I need to go to deck two and then I have all the actions that are available for deck two. So what I want to do is scroll through to normal mix. So if I go all the way down, I've got all these options available for me. Do know if you're not wanting to map Neural Mix, but you want to add something slightly different to your controller, this is the same process. You just need to find the right action in here. But I want to get Neural Mix on the go, so I'm going to keep going down here till I find Neural Mix. There we go. And now I've got these options. I've got swap drums. I've got solo drums. I've got mute drums. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map three pads out to take full control of Neural Mix in its free band mode. That means I'm going to map one pad to be soloing the drums. I'm going to have another pad for the harmonics and I'm going to have the final pad for soloing the vocal. So this is my first pad. This is the top left hand pad. So I'm going to go for solo drums. So now we've actioned that, 
we can then press this back button and you can see when I press shift on the pad, it says solo drum. What I want to do then is go to the second pad. So this is bounce loop eighth. You can see that this actually is just underneath the drum pad. So I'm just gonna take that again, deck two, scroll all the way to the bottom to find the neural mix. What I want now is to grab the harmonic. And then finally, shift, final right pad. I want to change that, deck two once again, and then that finally will be the vocal. That's all done. When you've done this, you then need to repeat the procedure for the left hand pads as well. So I'm quickly just gonna do that. So this is deck one because we're doing the left hand deck but then it's very much the same as before. Scroll down to the neural mix, solo the drums, shift second pad, deck one, solo the harmonic, and then finally, because I know this pad's directly underneath, deck one and solo that vocal. When that's all done and you've got all your pads mapped to exactly how you want them, so you can check them by pressing shift, solo drums, solo harmonic, circle vocal, vocal, solo drums, solo harmonic, solo vocal. So that's exactly how I want it. All you need to do then is press save in the top right hand corner. When that's done, press done. So that's a habit done. We've MIDI mapped our performance pads to take control of Neuron Mix. But that's not the end of the story. I need to show you how to perform with these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load some tracks up. I'm gonna load these tracks from the Crossfader Music Pack. So if you haven't already, please click the link in the top right corner or check the comments below for a link to the Music Pack. It's free to download and for everyone to use. So when we load a track in, from the beginning, it will play all three stems at full volume, just like the tracks playing normally. But we mapped the pads to take control of the neural mix. So when I head over to the neural mix panel, you can see here, there's nothing going on here. This is absolutely plain. It's nothing's been changed yet. When I press shift on a pad, I say solo the drums. It turns off the harmonics and the vocals because we're soloing the drums. That's not exactly ideal. So what you want to do, every time you load a track in, you want to quickly press shift and turn on all three elements. Now all three elements are turned on, we can then choose when we have them on or off. So say I want to just isolate that vocal off and get rid of the harmonics and the drums. It's as simple as that. And that allows us to maybe take the drums from a different track and play them underneath. So if I load up a, another track on this side, I'll just get that quickly playing for an example. Let's get these synced up. So if I do the same on this left hand deck, just get all three Nova mixes up. Say I want the drums from this track and not this one. There we go. Now I've got the drums from this track and the harmonics and vocals from this track. And when they're mixed together, And there we have it. That's how you map neural mix to the performance pads of your DJ controller. It's really amazing technology and it feels so much better and it's easier to use once it's mapped out rather than it being hidden behind the menus on the screen. Remember, head over to our Instagram. We are giving away an iPad Air at the moment with the guys from Algorithm. So thank you very much to them for bringing this amazing collaboration together for this um, giveaway. We want to see what you can do with Neuro Mix. So go over to the Instagram, get your recording uploaded, and let's see how creative you can get with this amazing technology. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, 
give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and let us know in the comments below what would you like to do with technology like this. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe for more content just like this. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when we upload more videos, and I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Thank you so much for watching.